In this group was um, Bob Smith, who was an uh, anal surgeon. And uh, he, everyone in the group knew that he was a problem drinker, that he was what they call a silent drinker. He just drank by himself. He didn't uh, think anyone knew about it, or he hoped they didn't. And he certainly didn't think anyone in the group knew about it. And so this bothered mother terribly because she thought, we've got to find a way to help Bob, you know. So her next problem was, how can we get him to admit it? And she thought about it and she decided uh, that the only way to get him to admit it would be if we all admitted some of our problems. So she talked this over with the other members of the group and uh, they all agreed that they would have this one meeting where they would all share deeply. And so when it came turn to mother's turn to say something, she, uh, I said to her later when she told me about this, I said, well, mother, what did you share? <laughs> and she said, well, she said, I just told them something about the difficulties in my marriage. But she said, I told them things that, I told them I've never, told anyone in this group about these problems I've had before, and it's very hard for me to tell you, and I just hope you will pray for me. And they all did that. And then Bob, I, I sort of see a big drama here. Then Bob stood up and he said, well, he said, I have want to tell you something, share something with you that I haven't sh really shared with you before. But he said, I have a terrible problem. I am a silent drinker. And he said, it may cost me my practice to tell you this. But he said, I don't know why I do it. I don't like the stuff. I don't like the taste. And yet I just can't stop. And he said, I want you to pray for me. Well, so uh, they said, well, we certainly will pray for you. And so mother, of course, thought about it a lot and she thought, She'd tell Bob about this. She'd say, uh, what about just slowly tapering off? And he said, oh, Henrietta, Henny, as they called her. Uh, I've tried that, believe me, and it, it doesn't work. And then she got guidance in the middle of the night. Uh, she got guidance that Bob must quit cold turkey. And so she, this time she, she felt it was guidance. It, in fact, often her guidance she felt was like a voice telling her this. And she said, Bob, I had guidance for you last night. And it said to me, Bob must quit drinking cold turkey. And he said, oh, honey, I couldn't do that. He said, I just couldn't do it because I get to a point where I can't not take a drink, you know. And anyone who is an alcoholic or a drinker knows that this is the truth. And he said, that's why I need to have you pray for me because I don't know how to quit. I can't quit talking. She said, well, we will pray for you and, and if we get guidance, we'll tell you.